So guys, I just got a suspicious package from Amazon. And I don't know what is inside, but I guess I need to be extra careful with it. Event Horizon is a 1997 sci-fi horror film in which a group of soldiers and a scientist go for a rescue mission after receiving a signal from a long-lost spaceship called Event Horizon. But after being inside of that cross-shaped spaceship, they realize that something's off. Bodies start to drop. The scientist starts to go mad and the whole ship feels like it's cursed. <sighs> to be honest with you, I was really skeptical when it came to this film. Because not only it was directed by Paul W.S. Anderson, who was who is well known for directing <laughs> shitty movies, but also because I know that the film got fucked over by shithead producers and test audiences. But because my old English teacher decided to give me this glorious comment on my Hellraiser video where he suggested me to talk about this film, and because I've been obsessed with sci-fi horror lately, I decided to take a lo look at this. This film is not great in particular. It is basically a remake of the original Alien, in which the alien is switched up to a lemon configuration like Magnetic Ball, which also works as the heart of the ship. But what saves the film a lot is the fact that we have a bunch of fleshed out and likable characters that you may root for before their inevitable deaths occur. What adds to the film's cold and creepy atmosphere is the fact that you, as the audience member, cannot really predict what the characters are going to do next. Yes, some of the things that happen in this film are a cliché. For example, our captain's traumatic past that he kept in a secret from everyone, but if you're able to look past that, I assure that you will find some enjoyment out of this film. It is entertainingly gory and also pretty messed up. My biggest problem with the film can be summed up into a one sentence. I don't believe that Paul W.S. Anderson is the best guy to make this kind of film. I'm not saying that he's the worst director ever, in fact, he's A-OK -okay at creating entertaining schlock when he actually tries. For example, Mortal Kombat and arguably the first Resident Evil are still genuinely fun summer movies to put on when you just want to shut your brains off. And yes, this film also sort of works like that, although it tries to be a genuine thought-provoking horror film. The movie tries and somewhat succeeds at exploring the fears of the unknown and the fear of being isolated in space. But then again, I can easily say that Alien did the same thing exactly 18 years before. Then again, it's a quite nice how all the characters are flawed and none of them are perfect superheroes, unlike some other characters portrayed in Paul's films. Also, the cinematography and the set design were done well and with a style, but some of the flashy editing, sound design, and music choices pushed me out of the film, making it laughable and destroying all the suspense that was nicely built up. But I guess a lot of this is due to how fast the film was released and because of the film wasn't even fully done before it was shown to the test audiences. 
It is interesting how this film works as a film, although it was cut. According to Lost Media Archive's Fandom.com page, the original cut ran for at least 130 minutes and contained far more graphic violence and gore than the released version of the film. Apparently, about 30 minutes of the film was cut, specifically the extremely grim material. So what we may assume from this is that the original cut contained just a bit more gore and didn't add anything new to the plot. It would, be, it would still be interesting to see the original cut that the director wanted us to see, and apparently the upcoming Scream Factory release of the film will contain at least some of the lost footage in the film. Also, apparently, according to various sources such as Den of Geek, Lost Media Archives, Fando.com page, and MovieCensorship.com, there is a VHS that contains the original cut, and it was announced that the producer Lloyd Levin had it. So, hopefully, the original cut, or at least some of it, will be soon restored in a pleasing format. So yeah, there's not much to say about this film. Uh, it's a fun sci-fi horror movie to put on when you wanna watch, well, sci-fi horror. Yeah. <laughs> Yo guys, oh what the fuck. Yo guys, thank you so much for watching. This video took a like, lot of time to make, main, as you may probably see. It was mostly due because due to the fact that I was being lazy. <laughs> if you like this video, leave a like and subscribe for more content. Also, follow me on Instagram and Twitter to get notified when I'm to see me post random stuff and well, to get to decide what I'm going to do next. Again, thank you so much for watching. See ya. Bye.